early September 2021 and we're here at Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. I'm going to give you a room tour, a resort tour. Hopefully we're gonna get some pool time and some lazy river time. Check out the beautiful views, the food and drinks, and they also have some special offerings specifically for Halloween Horror Nights that we're gonna check out as well. I'm excited to be bringing you another Universal Orlando Resort Hotel, and I also wanna thank Universal Orlando Hotels and Cabana Bay Beach Resort for inviting me out for this stay so that I can share all this 50s and 60s themed resort has to offer with all of you. Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort opened in 2014, and it's themed after the classic Florida beach resorts of the 1950s and 60s. All right, let's start this room tour. First off, we're in a family suite in the continental section of the resort in an interior room. Now, as you can see, I've already put my bags down, but I haven't touched anything else in this gorgeous room. Everything is retro themed like those Florida beach resorts of the 1950s and 60s. You've got a full microwave here a coffee setup, ice bucket. Look at this cool retro looking fridge here. We've got some storage space in here. Very nice. And a few amenities and lots of storage space. I love the color scheme. Moving on to the living room. I am just in love with this 1950s, 1960s vibe. We've actually got two TVs in this room, one here in the living room and one in the bedroom mounted on the wall. And I love the slider separating the living room from the bedroom. See, it's frosted so the light still comes through. I love that. Now let's check out the gorgeous bedroom and the view. We've got two beds here. That gorgeous beachy retro color theme carries throughout the rooms, in the art on the walls, in the headboards. Look, they've even got an old school clock ticking away. Love that sound. There's a perfectly placed wall-mounted television here. That's great. But let me show you the view. Oh my goodness, we have a view of the pool, of the lazy river, and we will definitely be partaking in those during this trip. You can even see a bit of Volcano Bay over there. We can see the continental wing that we're in right here, and then across the way, the other wings. I can actually see the parks from here. I can see Hulk, I can see Islands of Adventure over there, and I can also see a lot of rain clouds going on. So it looks like it's gonna be a cozy, rainy night. I even saw a rainbow earlier. You can see a bunch of iDrive in Orlando there too. That's gonna look so pretty at night. There's a nice spacious closet here. And we've got an ironing board, a luggage rack, an iron, extra pillows and blankets. There are cute sort of hidden drawers here next to the bed for storage. I really like those. Let's check out the banyo situation. I always love when there's a really spacious bathroom, restroom area, especially when you're staying here with a family because everybody needs their space to get ready. There's two mirrors so people can get ready, you know, at the same time. So there's a center console here with towels, drawers, beautiful color scheme and everything. And then there is the section of the restroom with the bath and shower that has its own sink. I like that they have zest that like goes along with the classic vintage feel here and vo5 oh my gosh i haven't seen vo5 for so long i love that it's a really fresh smell too nice clean shower everything looks great and then a separate section for the toilet very simple very clean everything you need i like it okay but i just really want to smell this zest so i'm gonna wash my hands with it because i just want to sniff it you, you could probably smell this through the screen. It smells like the freshest, cleanest thing you could ever imagine. Did I just open a soap just so I could sniff it? Yes, yes I did. I also love this like mint green color. It's just, I've got a thing for it, but. Oh, so fresh and so clean. I'm a big fan in general of sort of mid-century modern design and I'm feeling that vibe in here. Oh, there's more drawers there. Love the lamp. I really, really, really like it. It is a vibe. It's a whole vibe, this room, this whole resort. I'm ready to soak in so much of this vibe. 
There's even a full-on sand beach down there, so it really lives up to the Cabana Bay Beach Resort name. I always like to show you the room before I start spreading all my things around everywhere, and so far, it meets and exceeds my expectations. Everything's really clean, really nice, really pretty. Here's one of the many fun things going on at Cabana Bay right now, the fall beer crawl. So if you get a drink from all four bar locations, you get a stamp and then you get a free beer. So look, we've already got a stamp here from the Swizzle Lounge and it's a fall leaf, like stamped through. I love this. I have stayed at Cabana Bay Beach Resort before once. It was many years ago. And the main thing I remember is that it was during Christmas. So I remember walking into the lobby and seeing that massive, gorgeous Christmas tree. That always stuck with me. I was like, wow, that's a beautiful resort. I want to stay there again. So I'm really happy that I'm able to. Like this, oh wow, this couch is really comfy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a good stay and checking out everything this resort has to offer, so let's go do some exploring. I think it's time to head down to the lobby now and grab some grub. The main food court here at Cabana Bay is the Bayliner Diner. So we're gonna swing on into the Bayliner Diner. There are different stations with different kinds of food. Oh look, they have Halloween pumpkins out. How fun, a Halloween pumpkin margarita combo. They do have their own really cute refillable souvenir cups and you can even purchase a beverage package for your stay. I already noticed a fire pit looking out my window and it looks like they sell s'mores kits too. So the options right now, we've got hot off the grill. So this is like burgers basically and hot dogs. International Eats, they've got churrasco, jerk chicken, general so, chicken stir fry, and ahi tuna bowl, that looks very interesting to me. There's a pizza station. Pizza's a crowd pleaser. Oh, they even have cheese ravioli. Looks like they've got little personal pizzas. I love it. Like, who doesn't like pizza? And then the delicatessen wrap sandwiches and soups. So there's actually a lot to choose from here. There's also a salad bar, and it's like these beautiful pre-made salads. These actually look really good. And there's a lot of different options. Oh, I love a salad like this. You can grab some fruit, too. There's a special section called Natural Foods and Dietary Options, and they have gluten-free and like various foods for different types of special diets. And then the good old grab-and-go, and they even have sushi in the grab-and-go. Like what? It's a little fogged up because someone was just looking. You know what? Let's take a look. That actually looks really nice. And there's a ton of different options in here. Even kiddo options. I've decided on international eats and I think I'm gonna go for that ahi tuna bowl. That sounds right up my alley. Looks like they've got a special of the day too, the beef strip loin. The dining room's really spacious. There's a wide variety of different kinds of tables and seating. They've got these screens up here and there are like soda refill things and forks and knives and napkins everywhere it's getting dark outside so you can see all the twinkling lights from outside but i really really love this mural all right got a table let's go eat the ahi tuna bowl is pan seared tuna filet jasmine rice with hearts of palm and cilantro tomato coconut sauce and fennel apple let's take a dig into this it's like a coconut creamy sauce Mmm. Mm. I like that tomato coconut sauce. It all tastes really good. It's kind of like a beachy vacation-y dish and yeah, it's really tasty. These large screens flanking the dining room, they look like old-fashioned TVs. Oh my gosh, Gumby. Who else remembers Gumby? I loved Gumby and Pokey. I can't believe that just came on while I was showing these, but I was meaning to say that they look like old-fashioned television sets, but it's Gumby and Pokey. Now it's an Etch-a-Sketch. It's kind of like just rotating between old retro TV shows and commercials. They also have a full-on Starbucks here so you can get coffee and breakfast and snacks. And right now they're doing the Jacked Up experience, which I plan to do tomorrow to show you in full detail. It's a really cool, like kind of photo op, creepy experience, specifically for Halloween Horror Nights 2021. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. And that's up on the second floor of these gorgeous mid-century stairs. We'll definitely also be getting a Starbucks tomorrow. 
now it's a little bit into the evening and I want to show you the Halloween Horror Nights Icons Bar. Well, located here in the Swizzle Lounge in the lobby, they've transformed this bar into a tribute to Halloween Horror Nights icons of the past. So you can see so many of the icons reflected up here. The storyteller, even Fear, the director, the caretaker, Jack, the usher. And they've got drinks named after some of the icons too. And they have pumpkin beer. There are banners up here too with several of the past year's icons on them. They've got the fall beer crawl here. So they show, I guess this is the four beers you're supposed to get. They're all pumpkin-y type of, yeah, pumpkin beer is cool. There's also red velvet draped above the banners in there. It's pretty cool. It's like subtle, but nice. But the themed drinks are the main attraction here. That's the Jack. So it's basically like a Jack and Coke. And then there's a chance drink and a few other fun, creepy drinks. So there are two different sections. There's just general creepy cocktails. And then there are the specific horror icons bar cocktails. The director, Chance, and Jack Up. Sam ordered the skeleton key, and you can get any of these drinks in a collectible skull mug. So he got that, and that is Maker's Mark whiskey, elderflower liquor, agave, fresh lemon juice, ginger beer, and bitters. And I ordered the director, and that's Kettle One Vodka, Kahlua, Amaretto, and Heavy Cream. This obviously looks like it needs a stir, so let's give that a nice stir, get it all blended up. This is like a creamy type of coffee-ish drink, I'm guessing. Mm. Mm. It's kind of like a white Russian type of a drink. I love these kind of drinks. I immediately taste the Kahlua, and with the Amaretto, it tastes like, um, like a chocolate-covered cherry. That is very good. I also tried the Jack and the Chance at a different time, and the Chance was really intense and strong, but this is this is perfect. It's also strong, but it's like, this is more nice. Sam's a fan of, of this one. I don't know if I will be. I can really, the ginger beer is like a strong, bright uh, smell. <laughs> it actually is really good. Oh. I'm so happy. That's actually really nice. It's like a, what are those ginger beer drinks called? A Moscow Mule type of a drink? Yeah, it's like that kind of a drink. Mm, so here's the collectible cup. I really like it. It's a good size cup. We'll definitely be drinking out of those for the Halloween season. Just taking a quick peek outside before heading back up to the room. The pool is closed for the night now, but we just came out to take a quick look at it. And we can see our building from here, the Continental. The pool area is so beautiful. So yeah, hopefully we can get some pool time, some lazy river time tomorrow. We can even get a little bit of a view of Volcano Bay from here. And I think we can see it a little bit from our room too. So we're gonna head up there now and check out the nighttime views. All right, we're heading back up. Sixth floor. It's so quiet and peaceful. I really do love this color scheme. It's just like soothing to the eyeballs. Now it's time to check out the nighttime view. I'm already just blown away. I love, oh my goodness, I love this view. We can see part of the volcano for Volcano Bay. We can see the Icon Icon Park wheel over there. Just looking at this is making me so excited to visit the pool tomorrow and just hang out on that beach area. But yeah, this nighttime view is spectacular. We are gonna enjoy this for a while. We're just gonna be sitting here staring out the window for, for a while. I see the slingshot going now. It's so cool to see those rides going from here. All right, we got the Dundies going on. One of the best office episodes ever. This one's a classic. And we're eating uh, pumpkin spice donuts. This is a nice night. Back in the room, the bed's really comfy. The pillows are really comfy. We are just enjoying the view out the window, watching some TV, relaxing. Gonna get a good night's sleep because we've got a big day tomorrow. We're gonna do some special experiences in the hotel, hopefully get some pool time get some more food and just do some more fun things. It'll be a surprise because yeah, there's actually a really lot to do here. So I will see y'all in the morning. Good night.
Good morning. Whoa, that's bright. <laughs> Looks like a bright, beautiful, sunny day today. Gonna get up and get ready. Got some exciting, fun things planned for today. Sam went downstairs to get us pumpkin spice lattes to start the day. The Starbucks is in the lobby, very convenient. Mm. All right, we're gonna head downstairs now for some activities we've got planned. Second floor. All right, we are on the second floor now. And we are gonna head over to the Jacked Up Experience. Here at the Fun in the Sun Rec Center, they have a special Halloween Horror Nights experience. It's exclusive to Universal Orlando Resort Hotel guests. Now all Universal Orlando Resort Hotel guests can access this experience, but Cabana Bay Beach Resort guests get a special priority line. Just in case some of you don't know, Jack is the original Halloween Horror Nights icon. There are several different icons and they're all featured heavily this year for the 30th anniversary of this event. And this exhibit and photo op specifically celebrates Jack, the original Halloween Horror Nights icon. All right, we are stepping into Jack's world now. Thank you so much. Now we got a quick look at this on the opening weekend of Halloween Horror Nights, but today we are getting an exclusive look at this and we're gonna take our time and look at all the details. So just starting out with the music, it really brings you into Jack's world. Like you feel like he's just gonna pop out at any moment. Of course, the centerpiece of this room is the photo op you can take inside Jack's blender. I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. There are a lot of little details in here that you might miss if you go through quickly. So it does warrant maybe going through more than once or trying to take your time. Right to the right of the blender, they've got Jack's vanity here where he would prepare himself to terrify and torture his guests or victims. And then there are these portraits here of Jack using the blender in Halloween Horror Nights years past. And here we have what looks like the very first time Jack ever used the blender at Halloween Horror Nights, which was 2006. Sam and I are here talking about it, the arrival, and then other past years. So he just, he just blends you right up. So you get a chance in here to get this fun photo op, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. This is a cool display here with a crystal ball and some of these tarot cards that Jack's used in previous shows too. Fortune's told, pick a card, any card. Look at how cool these are. These burlap sort of sacks here with a really cool Jack face on them were used to cover the heads of the victims who would go inside of the blender. So Universal Creative worked on this with lots of props and sets from past Halloween Horror Nights houses and shows. These walls here too are reminiscent of his costume, his iconic look. I just, I love it. All the details put together so well. There's even like little hidden creepy dolls everywhere. Oh my goodness. If you're not sure if you can handle Halloween Horror Nights and you happen to be staying here during this time, this is a great way to like test and build up your your scare levels to get ready. Now here's an example of what happens in the blender and I am about to go in there. When you're inside the photo op or the blender, there's a button that you push in here to make the effects go off. And I love how you can hear Jack's maniacal laughter in here. Yeah, that's good. There's still more to this. There's a second room. So there's a hallway here that is full of portraits and interactive elements. Look at this mirror. This is so creepy. Oh my goodness, that's creepy. I know there is something, here we go, the interactive 
Do not push. Definitely do push. Oh boy. They've got the poster here of this year and just different photos of Jack. It's dark in here. It's creepy. I love it. This corridor leads us into the next room where we will become Jack's maniacs. But first we're just taking in all the details in here because it's really cool. Come on in maniacs, be ready to transform. I'm ready. We're ready, Sam, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Now, I don't want to show you the whole thing here, just to not have any spoilers for any of you who plan on visiting, but suffice it to say, I think Jack approved, and we are official maniacs. Go forth, maniacs. Jack approves. I was hoping my scream would be good enough, and I think he liked it. So at the very end here, you get an awesome photo op with a meticulously created Jack, like literally, I feel like he's just gonna pop up and start talking to us. It looks so real. That's creepy. The iconic hairdo he's got there going on. Every last detail. Jack, did we make you proud? He looks proud? So if you saw the sort of teaser that Universal Orlando Resort released before Halloween Horror Nights opened, it was sort of like this, like a bunch of TVs all stacked together, a bunch of static, some creepy messages, and look, in between, it says Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort, really cool looking. There's also a full-size bumper car in here. So we think this was used in a previous show at Halloween Horror Nights. If you know what year, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure what year, but it's really cool looking. So this is roped off. It's not to get in. It's just to look at and take photos of. Super cool, super creepy. Look at the ears broken off. Yikes. Don't worry, little guy, you're still cute. Thank you so much to Cabana Bay for allowing us access into the Jacked Up experience before it opens for the day. It's open every day from 2 to 10 p.m. So once again, this is free to all Universal Orlando Resort hotel guests. So you can come from another Universal Orlando Resort hotel over to here and you can use the resort shuttles or they'll validate your parking for doing this. And while you're here, you can also visit the Icons Bar. So it's like a double special Cabana Bay exclusive Halloween Horror Nights 2021 experience. Also, like I mentioned, Cabana Bay guests get a special priority line. So that's a pretty cool thing. And Cabana Bay is the only Universal Orlando Resort hotel this year that has all of this going on, these special, fun, free experiences. Well, the, the jacked up experience is free. The drinks, you pay for it. But they're really cool, really interesting. Um, like the director that I tried last night, which was so, so good. They have Halloween drinks, and then they have the three icon drinks. They've got a really fun looking arcade here called Gimo Rama. There's a lot in here, this is, this is cool. Look at the mega opto score. Whoa, that's huge. Look at this giant space invaders. Super bikes. And also up here on the second floor, right next to the arcade, is Galaxy Bowl. They have their own bowling alley. Let's take a peek. Don't think it's open for the day yet, but we can take a look at it. This is like a retro bowling alley. You can play in here. It's got all the mid-century theming of the rest of the resort. You can also dine in here. They've got bites, entrees, greens, and oh, a Coca-Cola cake, interesting. So it looks like reservations are required. They open at 3 p.m. and you can only make the reservation the day of. So you'll wanna pop down like at three or as close to three as you can get in and make your reservation for the day, the same day that you're visiting. It's $12.99 per bowler, 45 minutes of lane time and shoe rental. And neon socks. Oh, and you can get neon socks, nice. Yeah, I'm liking the look of this, this is cool. 
And then they've got these displays here. They do sell that shirt in the gift shop too. So it looks like the gym here is called Jack Lala Lane Physical Fitness Studio. Very vintage. Oh, I love it. I'm not gonna go in there, but no one's in so I can give you a peek. Oh, there's a few people back there. It's nice, a lot of light in there, really pretty. It's nice to be walking around the hotel this early because it's like, empty like everyone's either gone to the parks for the day for that early admission into the parks that you get with Universal Orlando Resort hotels or they're just still sleeping so you get this like nice view of everything looks like a gorgeous day out you get a really cool view of the lobby from up here too I love this lobby with the big atrium in the middle so much light there's the icons bar right down there it's really welcoming like you walk in and you're like ah i'm on vacation there's also a vacation planning center here they can help you with like tickets and planning and whatnot there's a door here leading outside we can see some of the other buildings the starlight and the thunderbird there are so many different rooms here i think over 2,000 rooms the pool here located between the castaway thunderbird and starlight buildings is in the cabana courtyard and this one happens to be closed this week but the main pool in the lazy river courtyard is open and hopefully we can pop over there in a little bit and get some pool time today sam came down earlier and had breakfast i was still sleeping I'm not really a big breakfast person but he said it was a-okay and this looks like the pool that we'll be going to. You can see Volcano Bay back there. I got a brand new bathing suit for this little vacation. We're all ready and packed up. I got the GoPro so I can show you some pool stuff. Let's head down. It's pool time in the city today. We're gonna be like this guy in a minute. All right, heading out into this sunny day. Gonna check out the pool situation. Never been to this pool before, so this is gonna be a first time. Pool hours right now, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Here we go. Oh, look at this sandy beach, this is great. All right, we're gonna grab some towels. There we go. All right. Oh, a lot of the seats are taken, but I think I found some here. We even managed to find an umbrella. This is nice. Oh yeah, living our best pool lives out here. Now it's just time to get in the pool. All right, we got a really beautiful view of Cabana Bay from here. I'm gonna get in. We've got the zero entry situation. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, that feels so good. Got like a swim dress on. Oh yeah. Got some cool views from in the pool here of the surrounding buildings. So all of these buildings are very different. You can get an exterior room, an interior room. We have an interior room and they're all like a different experience, but they all have that like Florida vacation vibe. This is nice. The water temperature is great. It's really comfy and the sky is so blue. Okay, but I need to try the lazy river. Like I need this lazy river situation. I don't know how it works. I'm gonna find out. It is zero entry, which I really like too. There we go. So here's the situation. Uh, the tubes, you purchase them and then you can keep them. So it's, there's a $12.50, a $9.50, a $15. They're a kid size. I don't know which one to get. And it's cool that you can charge it to your room because uh, I don't have my wallet with me. All right, I got the big old 47 inch tube. So here I go with this. Oh boy, here we go. So I just slap this in here. I guess I get in it. A minute. And then I just take off and float about. You don't have to like push yourself or anything. You just kind of go. Whee, this is fun. Oh, nice. Hello. It's me and my tube. Just tubing. Totally tubular. And here we go. I don't really like know how to do this. I don't know how to tube the situation here. Do I just lean back? Do I lean forward? I'm not, not really a professional tuber here. YouTuber maybe. <laughs> but not tuber, but hey, this is nice. I guess you just relax and glide on by. You don't have to have a tube to float in the lazy river, but it just kind of like adds to the vibe. I just felt like I had to, at least this once. I wasn't sure exactly like where this goes, but it looks like we're going around a corner here. So it is kind of like a circular thing. 
Ooh, more like water fountains everywhere. I feel like I can't control where it's floating. I wasn't sure how long the Lazy River would be. I thought it was going to be tiny, but so far it's quite a journey. It's longer than I thought. We can get a view here of the towers. They're attached to Cabana Bay also. There's a lot going on in here. It's nice. It's like tropical scenery in here. Very cool. There's bamboo and palms. Graceful. <laughs> Graceful the yeah. swan. Oh yeah. This is so nice. Second time around now. I just got a second tube, so that now we both have one. You can bring them back and turn them in and they'll reinflate it for you if you deflate it. And you can, you know, take it home and use it as much as you want. So there you go. We're going through again, third time. I like how the palm trees are like bent inward. Oh, here's some water. There we go. To sort of create like a tunnel effect, like you're going through a tunnel of palms. This is really relaxing. You could spend a good amount of time in here. I also saw people in here with like drinks too, so they were they were chilling. Car walking. Woo! Ah! <laughs> it's kind of fun to go under there and uh, do a little car wash feel. I think this is like the fourth time going around. I think I got the hang of this, this is nice. And that's it, a nice circular thing. It's separate from the pool. A lot of fun, very relaxing. All right, we are gonna drop these off. They did say that you can bring them back and they'll give you deflated ones to take. They'll reinflate them, deflate them for you, whatever you want. We're gonna keep them inflated just in case we wanna do some more lazy river but i think we'll drop them off so if you head back to the lazy river tube shack and turn in your tube they'll give you a fresh one in a bag deflated easy to take home you can bring it back with you take it to the beach take it anywhere you want and uh yeah that's really convenient rather than having to carry around that giant thing and then if you want to use it again they'll inflate it for you cool that's that's really convenient there's a whirlpool spa hot tub here but it is closed there are also love bugs everywhere ah september all right, so anyway, we can see the volcano back there. Um, yeah, I don't think that Universal Hotels have reopened their spas and hot tubs, but there you go, it's there for when it does reopen. We got some seats at the pool bar. There's like a shaded covered area in here, so we're gonna get some food. Maybe I'll get some nachos, maybe we'll get a nice little drink. Here's the menu here. So they've got these Honolulu hot dog, the big kahuna hot dog, buffalo chicken wrap, turkey club wrap, fish tacos. They have nachos. A lot of nice, like, easy poolside options here. So I got the Elysian Pumpkin Ale. That's the fall beer crawl for this bar. Get that fall punch. Thank you. Cool. Sam got the original Honolulu hot dog. That's pineapple, bacon, sausage, passion fruit, mustard, uh, lemon, garlic, sauce and it's like inside of a roll looks good and i got the ultimate nachos with chicken they look like they're filled with everything under the sun and the elysian pumpkin beer that comes with the fall crawl it's so good it it looks like a dark color but it tastes light and it really does taste like pumpkin it's really really good it's like got a warm taste to it like a like a warmth in the flavor not in the temperature and it's lush mm. i like that it's like shredded chicken so it's like really tender and blends well with everything. This is delish. All right, that was very nice. Let's go back to the, up to the room and clean up. Okay. Looks like we got our pool time in just in time because there's a huge rainstorm happening now. There's still people in the pool. They only evacuate if there's lightning or dangerous weather. So there are still people floating around in the lazy river and the pool, but yeah, I think it was a lot nicer when it was warm and sunny. Although, hey, sometimes swimming in the rain can be fun, but 
yeah I'm just glad we uh, we did it when we did. Now, we're gonna take a little bit of a nap, just a cozy nap in the room. Very cozy, relaxing nap. Coming up from the pool, it was so nice. There was a little bit of a rain shower, and now it's bright and sunny again. Looks like the pool's reopened, so that is very nice. So we really enjoyed our time down there. We were at the pool for hours, and just like soaking in the sun, relaxing the lazy river, enjoying the regular pool, it was, it was really nice and then the pool bar having lunch that was yeah a nap was much needed now from cabana bay beach resort you can catch a bus to city walk to go to universal studios florida or islands of adventure you can get a bus over to volcano bay you can also walk to city walk and it's about a 15 20 minute walk depending on how fast you walk so we are definitely going to be hitting up city walk tonight and maybe even visiting the parks a little bit too but as far as this video i think that's a wrap on our stay here at universal's cabana bay beach resort it was really nice to be here i really like that they're doing universal orlando resort hotel exclusive experiences tied to halloween horror nights halloween horror nights is like a premiere halloween event that people come from all over the country and even all over the world to attend it's a major event obviously it's 30th year anniversary is this year because it didn't run in 2020 and if you missed my opening night video of halloween horror nights i was there for opening night i was allowed to film inside all 10 houses we did all the scare zones we ate some food we had an amazing night so if you want to see what the event is like this year or if you've been and you want a little more hhn magic in your life check out my opening night video i'm so happy that i could finally stay at cabana bay and share this resort with you because it's a really popular resort it's got so much style like there's just so much vibe and theming here it's just themed to a t and it really brings you into the mid-century feel like everything is decorated designed it really fulfills the design promise that you see from outside you see that font of cabana bay and you're like wow that's pretty you walk in and everything lives up to that that design promise it's just gorgeous the family suite that we're staying in can sleep up to six people so there's two beds in the bedroom area and there's a pull-out couch that turns into a bed in the living room area they're separated by this sliding door so you could have two people per bed and the way that the bathroom set up with the two mirrors in the middle section and then the shower in one section with its own sink and then the toilet in another section makes it so that everybody can kind of like get ready and do their thing and there's space for everyone in the closet spacious too the kitchenette's really convenient you could bring food put it in the fridge heat it up in the microwave so you could really like make a nice stay of it here which a lot of people do again it's a very popular resort here at universal orlando and for a reason besides all the amenities besides the really cool design and theming it's a great value this is a perfect and really popular resort to stay in for halloween horror nights all year round of course too but specifically for the event i think a lot of people choose this hotel because of the vibes and the theming and all there is to do the value that you get here and like the spacious rooms and this year the jacked up experience and the icons bar so those halloween horror night vibes carry over into your resort you could like pop in there do the jacked up get some fun photos have those photos as like a souvenir you got to go in jack's blender and then take those as a souvenir as part of your halloween horror nights visit so if you are planning a stay at any universal orlando resort hotel during the halloween season you should definitely pop over to cabana bay and check out the jacked up experience again it's free for universal hotel guests thank you so much once again to lowe's hotels at universal orlando resort and to cabana bay for having me out for this stay so that I can experience all of this and share it with all of you. It's really been a wonderful stay. It's a hotel I've been wanting to visit for quite a while and it was extra special getting to visit it during Halloween Horror Nights so that we could check out the Jacked Up Experience and the Icons Bar and it's like extra vibes on top of vibes. So that's it for this day. Thank you so much all of you for watching. I'm sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video and until then as always, stay enthused.